Hello everyone. Uh, welcome back to the daily news editorial. Today I have taken up an article from the Indian Express that will uh, basically cover the uh, gist of India-US relations. And also I have covered this earlier uh, in my previous video about the India-US relation and how they are working together to curb the uh, presence of China in the uh, Indo-Pacific region. So today I will be giving you just a brief of uh, how India-US relations have developed over the time and a few recent developments that have uh, happened. So the following topics will be covered that is uh, the changing geopolitical scenario in the Indo-Pacific Indo and the security architecture that is being changing uh, because of the India-US relations. So let's get started. Uh, this article is basically because of uh, PM Modi's visit to Washington that has changed the entire uh, dynamic of uh, India-US relations. Now to start with, I will just give you a brief or a gist of uh, India-US relations. So India-US bilateral relations have developed into a global strategic partnership based on shared democratic values and increasing convergence of interests on bilateral, regional and global issues. So the um, emphasis placed by the government uh, in India on development and good governance has created opportunity to reinvigorate bilateral ties and enhance cooperation under the motto Chale Saath Saath uh, forward together we go and Sanjha Prayas Sabka Vikas that is that means shared effort progress for all this has this was adopted during the first two summits of Pre, uh, Prime Minister Modi and President Obama in September 2014 and January 2015 so uh, the regular exchange of high level political visits has uh, provided sustained momentum to bilateral cooperation while the wide ranging and uh, ever expanding dialogue architecture has established a long term framework for India US uh, engagement. Now coming to uh, the uh, political relations. So, the frequency of high level visits and changes between India and the US has gone up significantly of late. So uh, P. Modi's visit to the US and then his meetings that were held with President Obama uh, including from various states and cities in the US interacted with the members of President Obama's cabinet. So he also reached out to the captains of the US com Commerce and Industries uh, and the American Civil Society and think tanks and the Indian American community. So uh, these kind of things, these have, uh, so there is uh, frequent interaction between the leadership of the two countries, uh, including telephone calls, meetings on the sidelines of international summits and uh, President Trump, when Trump was the president and Prime Minister Modi have spoken thrice over phone since the former's election in November 2016. So th during that time also the relationship has developed. Now, India uh, US dialogue architecture. Now, there are more than 50 bilateral dialogue mechanisms between the two governments. So uh, over the years the US, India-US dialogue architecture has also shaped accordingly. Next one is uh, strategic consultations. So there have been regular contacts at political and official levels on bilateral, uh, regional and global issues. So foreign office consultations at, at, uh, at the level of Foreign Secretary of India and US Under Secretary for, Polin, uh, for Political Affairs are an important part of the dialogue structure. Then comes the Civil Nuclear Cooperation. Uh, the bilateral Civil Nuclear Cooperation Agreement was finalized in somewhere around uh, 2007 and signed somewhere in 2008. 
so um, during uh, prime minister modi's visit to the us in september 2014 the two sides set up a contact group for advancing the full and timely implementation of the india us civil nuclear cooperation agreement and to resolve pending issues the next one is uh, defense cooperation defense relationship has emerged as a major pillar of india us strategic partnership with the signing of new framework for india us defense relations back in 2005 and the resulting intensification of defense trade joint exercises personal exchanges collaboration and cooperation in maritime security and counter piracy and exchange between each of the three services uh the next one is uh, counter terrorism and internal security so cooperation in counter terrorism has seen considerable progress with intelligence sharing information exchange operational cooperation uh, counter terrorism technology and equipment uh india us counter terrorism cooperation initiative was signed in 2010 to expand collaboration on counter terrorism information sharing and capacity building so there are many more uh, like a homeland security dialogue then there is uh, india us police chief conference then comes the uh, india us joint working group on counter terrorism next is trade and economic relations so india us bilateral trade in goods and services increased from uh, 104 billion dollars in 2014 to 114 billion dollars in 2016 so trade has basically increased over the last uh, few years now during uh, prime minister's visit to the us in september 2014 the two sides set a target to increase bilateral trade in goods and services to 500 billion dollars the next one is uh, energy and climate change the us india energy dialogue uh, was launched back in 2005 to promote trade and investment in the energy sector so it goes back to 2005 the recent happenings the recent energy dialogues are not something new it is only being developed based on the previous dialogues uh next one is the education sector cooperation in education sector sector has been made an integral part of the strategic partnership between the two countries mm, the full bright program uh, was renewed back in 2008 with uh, enhanced mandate and joint funding to provide more student and scholar exchange grants Mm, india is uh, learning from the us experience in community colleges in order to meet our demands for skill development so, and it has been agreed to collaborate with us institutions in the area of technology enable uh, learning and massive open online courses to extend the reach of education in india then is under the global initiative for academic uh, networks launched by india up to 1000 american academics will be invited and hosted each year to teach in indian universities at their convenience so the two sides are also collaborating to establish a new indian institute of technology in ahmedabad next comes the space uh space sector so a bilateral joint working group on civil space cooperation provides a forum for discussion on joint activities in space including exchange of scientists ocm2 insat 3d collaboration um cooperation on mars mission nano satellites carbon uh, carbon eco- ecosystem monitoring and modeling feasibility of collaboration in radio occultation earth science cooperation international space station global navigation satellite systems um space exploration cooperation space debris uh space debris medi- mediation uh, so these are a few of the areas where both the countries are working jointly 
next comes science and technology uh, the india us uh, science and tech cooperation has been steadily growing under the framework of us india science and technology cooperation agreement which was signed back in 2005 then is uh, there uh, there is an indo us science and technology joint commission which is co-chaired by the science advisor to the us president and indian minister of science and technology collaboration now for example collaboration between the ministry of earth sciences and us national oceanographic and atmospheric administration has been strengthened under the 2008 back in 2008 mou on earth observations and earth sciences next comes the um, health sector so under the 2010 us india health initiative four working groups have been organized in the areas of non communicable diseases infectious diseases strengthening health systems and services and maternal and child health next is people to people ties the 3.5 million plus strong indian american community is an important ethnic group in the us and they account for about 1% of the total population in the country uh indian american community includes a large number of professionals business entrepreneurs and educationalists with increasing influence in the society then comes the cultural cooperation cultural cooperation between india and the us is very rich and uh, manifest in diverse ways now, apart from the india focused educational programs at the universities and educational institutions many private institutions teach indian cultural arts uh, in addition to the website of the indian embassy and social media channels the embassy also provides updated information on various aspects of india that are relevant to the united states through its various publications including india uh, partnering growth a weekly newsletter focusing on business and strategic matters and india live that is a monthly newsletter providing information on initiatives of the embassy and the consulates and major developments in india and uh, culture and tourism and the last one is media uh indian media is present in strength in the us including pti uh, ians uh, times of india the hindu the hindustan times outlook pioneer and other um indian media organizations which have correspondence based in washington dc and other major city so that is so this is an overall view of how india us relationship have been uh, has been for the last few years and it goes long back to the 90s and the early 2000s now next is how will india us ties lead to a new geopolitical dynamic in the indo pacific so the evolving ties have the potential to contribute to a new geopolitical dynamic in the indo pacific region how we will see some of the uh, ways first one is balancing china's influence next one is strategic cooperation next is the quad next one is connectivity and infrastructure next is trade and economic integration next in the last one is engagement with asean countries so first is balancing china's 
uh, influence now both india and the us are uh, share concerns about china's growing influence in the indo pacific so the closer ties between india and the us can actually help balance china's assertiveness and contribute to a more multipolar regional order next one is the strategic cooperation india and the us have been strengthening their strategic cooperation in the indo pacific including maritime security freedom of navigation and promoting rules based order so enhanced collaboration in these areas can, can actually contribute to stability and the and security and in, in the region next one is the quad what is the quad uh which who are the members the strategic forum which comprises of us india japan and australia what does it do it seeks to promote a free open and inclusive indo pacific region uh the india us partnership within the quad framework can actually provide a platform for coordinating policies and initiatives reinforcing shared interests and values uh the next one is connectivity and infrastructure uh, now both the countries have expressed a shared interest in promoting connectivity and infrastructure development in the indo pacific so this can actually lead to the creation of alternative infrastructure projects that prioritize transparency sustainability and economic growth providing an alternative to china's belt and road initiative uh next one is trade and economic in, uh, integration so strengthening economic ties between the two countries can actually contribute to regional economic integration it can foster a more robust and diversified economic ecosystem in the indo pacific and also provide an alternative to china's dominant economic influence in the region next one is engagement with the asean countries now uh the uh, both the countries have expressed commitment to engaging with the asean countries and promoting uh, asean centrality in the regional architecture now this engagement can enhance cooperation on economic security and diplomatic fronts which will contribute to the overall stability and prosperity in the indo pacific region now the geopolitical dynamics of the uh, indo pacific are really complex and influenced by multiple factors so the india us relationship is just one element that will be shaping the region and it interacts with uh, various other bilateral and multilateral relationships <clears throat> next one is um how exactly Uh, will india us relation change the security architecture in asia because um, us and uh, china uh, us and india are not looking forward to demean china's motives or not looking forward to put down china but they want to uh, make it a more multipolar world rules based order and also change the security architecture in asia so how are they going to do it how will it how will the architecture change uh, because of india us relations so first one is strategic partnership next one is quad cooperation third one is maritime security next is defense cooperation non traditional security challenges so strategic partnership uh closer ties between the two countries can actually contribute to the development of a more robust and inclusive security architecture in asia 
both the countries uh, share concerns about regional security challenges for example um, terrorism maritime security and the rise of non state actors so enhanced cooperation between the two countries can actually lead to a greater coordination and capacity building efforts which if which further will strengthen the overall security framework in the region next comes the quad cooperation so the quad uh, comprising of the us india japan and australia uh, it promotes uh, or it is aimed at promoting free open and in inclusive indo pacific region so it serves as a mechanism to enhance security cooperation maritime security and regional stability so the india us partnership within uh, the quad can actually like i said in the previous topic uh, here uh, it will actually um, contribute to shape the security architecture in asia by uh, promoting shared principles norms and rules next is the maritime security so both the countries also have a shared interest in ensuring freedom of navigation and maintaining a rules based maritime order in the indo pacific now closer uh, cooperation between the two countries can actually lead to increased maritime domain awareness joint patrolling and capacity building efforts which further will help uh, deter potential threats and maintain stability in the region next one is defense cooperation so the defense collaboration between india and the china uh, united states has been expanding encompassing uh, joint military exercises defense technology transfers and defense trade so this closer partnership can contribute to building the defense capabilities of india and other countries in the region which will again help to deter aggression and ensure a more balanced balanced security architecture the last one is non traditional security challenges so the india us relationship can actually address non uh, traditional security challenges what are non traditional security challenges like cyber security counter terrorism and humanitarian assistance and disaster relief so joint efforts to combat uh, combat these uh, challenges can actually contribute to strengthening the um, security architecture in asia and fostering cooperation among regional countries now again security uh, i mean the security architecture in asia is again a complex thing and is also influenced by multiple factors including including the interests and actions of other countries in the region so the impact of uh, the relationship between india and us on this particular uh, region will depend on the alignment of interests evolution of regional dynamics and the willingness of other countries to engage and cooperate so this is basically just a gist of uh, india us relations that is in the article and the details of how india us can counter china's presence etc has been explained in my previous video you can go back and watch the video so before winding up i would like to uh, post a mains question for you to practice so the question here is evaluate the role of india us strategic partnership in enhancing maritime security in the indo pacific region discuss the cooperative measures and initiatives undertaken by both countries to ensure freedom of navigation and a rules based order you may write the answer in uh, 250 words uh, so uh, that's all for today folks i hope you like the video and this uh, entire uh, topic will help you with your gs paper 2 that is international relations uh the uh, model answers with the questions uh um, so in will be posted in some time on the telegram channel and you can uh find the link to our channel in the description box and more for more such videos and if you want to stay updated with the current affairs you can subscribe to our youtube channel as well as the telegram channel the link to which is provided in the description box so i'll come up with another editorial tomorrow till then take